identification record. Have you ever been arrested or fined $35 or more? If you were to be stationed in the United States, where would you like to be stationed? Or how about overseas? If you had your choice, where would you like to be stationed? Europe, Alaska, Hawaii, Korea, Japan? Europe? Okay, this isn't a guarantee. It's just a preference. Uh, two areas. That should be good. Almost everything in the army now. Yeah. Not back on the blocks. When the last time you had your hair cut this close? Mm, been a long time. Oh, yeah. Wonder what my girl is said. Cause you like her. How many is she giving you? I'm going to give you 1,000 shots. The crowd give you a lot of talk. How you feel? Just fine. And then the bottom right. Take out your four fatigue shirts, your field jacket, go around the corner and let the lady saw them on. All right. Field jacket. Heck of a bus trip. I lost my shoes yeah. in the reception station. Uh, no, but you're on night. And you're on, you have night fire too, without without the traces. You shoot the targets. You shoot out the ducks. <laughs> Some of these cats ain't fit to go through basic. And the first, after the first day, they're really going to be hurt. They'll wake up in the morning and they'll be so sore they won't even know what's coming off. Yeah, well, I don't think I could take it. White soul. That. Carnegie. Drum group. Bolt. Hey. Bolt. I do mind. Hey. Hey. I see what? Trinalskis. Hold right there in the middle. Your bag's on the floor. Come on, let's go! Pull over there, son. Right by that bus, spur the sidewalk. Right over there. Get off the truck, train team. Let's go! From the United States Army Training Center at Fort Dix, New Jersey, these are the sounds of basic training. Morning, men. I want to take this opportunity to welcome you to the 3rd Brigade, the brigade known as the Pioneer. We're proud of that nickname because we are really the first unit to receive the young men as they come into the Army. We're pioneers because we prepare the way for you, clear the road to prepare you, to train you, to take your place in the Army, prepare you well to go to your advanced training or to the units of your assignment. This is a critical time in your service as you begin your basic training. The purpose of the orientation this morning is to line out for you just what basic training is all about, what you can expect from us, your trainers, and in turn, what can we expect from you. It is a time when you reflect on your purpose of being in the Army, to set your goal, to reinforce your determination to meet the challenge you have chosen for yourselves, and to successfully complete basic training. Early up right. Early up right. Right now, welcome down to order arms as I showed you. Your right hand forming a U over the front sight post, the heel of the weapon next to your right foot, magazine well to your front. What are you going, trainee? One first aid dressing, place it over the plastic, tie the tails on the injured side. Roll them on the side so the, the fluid that, that's in the wound already won't spread to the other lung. Two boards, the short one on the inside of the leg and the long one on the outside of the leg. Use parts of your clothes. You tie the metal knots first. You have just fitted your man. If you follow instructions, your man is now fitted correctly. Uh, if you did not follow that instruction, you will learn about it in the gas chamber. And if this bag is being found, oh my God. All eyes up front. You're going to get air in through these little cracks around here. You understand? And if you get air in inside the gas chamber, the gas is going to get in your little nostrils, right? And it's going to travel down your throat, right? And it's going to gag you, right? Now, which one do you want to do? Get gag or wag correctly? Bless your heart. Your mask is finished. I've just saved okay, your life. You have a mask. Bye. When I tell you to remove your mask, I want you to give me your name, rank, serial number, date of birth, and the state you're from. As a group, 
Pick up the man. Whatever, brothers. Hurry. Can't hear you. You want to go ahead and go. Can't hear you. Sorry, man. Really. October 26th. What is it for? Walk out. Walk out. Hey, don't rub, don't rub your, your eyes and your nose and your mouth. Just, just let the wind clear it away. Let the wind clear it away. Let the wind clear it away. It'll go away quick. I don't chew me, bro. 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 If you don't move, you're going to get moved. That's the pot of food. I don't chew me, bro. Here it is, the M16. Turn your train on the M16. You'll learn this weapon inside and out. If this is turning this way, you look down there. Can you see a hole? No. Okay, so you have to turn it. The side, just like so. Now you look down there and hold it just like that. Okay, now hold your hand, hold it and drop it in there. Just drop it straight down. It should fall in there. Okay, now hold it up in your hand here. Hold it up, hold it up in the other hand. Wait, it's not in now. Turn it loose, turn it loose. Now push it in. Take it, hit it. Wiggle it. There you go, now you got it. Stuck. Lock and load, fellas. Lock and load. Take your time, man, and squeeze these rounds off. Squeeze the trigger. Spread the down. Spread them. And you move right around till you get there to get that nose up on that charge now. The weapon not going to kick you. Place your nose on the charge now. Get that non fine arm underneath the weapon. Clear. Get up. Place the weapon on the stake. Get the magazine. Move back. Load three more rounds. Stand behind the stump. Did you visually inspect the chamber? Next time, do it without me having to remind you. Okay, put your weapon on a stake and stand up. The closer you're gonna get to, trainee. Tell your target off. Move up to the base out of tower. Get right it off the right ring. Press the ring, move, sir. Let's go, people. Load up, magazine. You'll be all day. Move it four left. When you come back up, you ought to be able to zero. Wow, man, you hit my target. Camouflage, cover, and concealment. You gotta know how to camouflage yourself in order to survive out in a combat situation. What is cover going to do for you? Protect you. It's going to protect you. What else? Conceal you. It's going to conceal you. What else? Hide you, Hide you from the enemy. It's going to protect you against what? There it is. Cover is going to protect you against the enemy small arms fire. Four, the left side is ready. The right side is ready. The firing line is ready. Safety and field. Move them out. And you know where your positions are. Change now. Oh, keep going, keep going. Let's stop at this first roll. Get up. Get up. I thought you had the gun squared. Go. Go into your This is a carrying handle. This is the way you will carry the weapon off the firing line. This is a hidden shoulder plate. When you fire this weapon, you must have a hidden shoulder plate on your shoulder. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Face the road. Who told you don't let that cover? I touched the boat to the rear. Take it off the seat. Stand up. All right, so you need to get up here. Now, last round goes through that chamber. Automatically cock the boat to the rear. Bring it forward. Put it on safe. Open up your feet tray cover. Brush your links out, lift up the feet tray and look into the chamber and make sure there's no crap or ammo. Good afternoon, men. Good afternoon, Sergeant! I know you're in a hurry for one thing. You came down here willing to throw two live hand grenades. And that's what we're going to make you do right now. 
Listen to command. I told you to take all the command from me. I didn't tell you to throw it. You're gonna get scared, you're gonna hit that wall in the front. You're gonna hurt me, you're gonna hurt yourself. Now, they're probably gonna leave a lot of good in your mouth, young man. Are you scared, young man? Come, come, on, come, on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You've been taught all the basics of training, and now this word gonna pay off. You'll be tested on military custom and Curtis, first aid, guard duty, and D and C. Do I have any questions? Move them out. What did you do wrong? You were being tested. I walked by you. Do you know what you're supposed to do? Just say get good afternoon, Sergeant. And what are you supposed to do about, a, about your chair? Just to get up, Sergeant. You're supposed to stand on your feet? Yes, Sergeant. Greet the NCO, is that right? Yes, Sergeant. Well, why don't we do it? Yes, Sergeant. Sit down. In the desk, up above the dummy, you look up there, find it, and use it. If you don't see it, ask for it, test will come and get it for you. This station, the carrier to next to you is unconscious. He's been wounded in the left side of the chest. Air is being sucked into his wound. You passed first aid. And that was really hard, man. I thought I was going to flunk it. Passed. Yeah, I passed. And that I was pretty simple. <laughs> this is guard duty. You'll be taking you test do. number four. Guarding an ammo dump, post number five. Do you have any questions? Sorry, what post was that? Post number five. Before you move inside the building, you trade your weapon over with somebody else's weapon. So that when you go inside, you have a weapon that works. Don't go up after the chest. Right. You got to take whatever you fail. I mean, if you, you fail this, you got to take drill and sermon now. Yeah, but only one of the two taps, right? Because they might give you more at the end. I don't know. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm holding a weapon for somebody. Wait. He said, if you fail a test today, you take NBC Claymore. Oh, NBC man. That's what he said over there, man. Uh, you know, he next time you, we come, you just They don't say their stuff clearly. Both hands on the same bar. Go! 20, Now you don't know everything there is to know about being a soldier yet, not by a long shot, but you have successfully completed perhaps the most difficult hurdle of all, and that you have completed that transition from being a civilian to being a soldier. The only limit to what you can accomplish during your time in the Army is the limit of your own ability and your own desire. That uniform, which you have proven you have a right to wear, wear it proudly, for you belong to a proud army. And you have every right to be proud of the role that you're playing in the defense of this great country of ours. Good luck, good soldiering, hold your head high, and Godspeed.